Kopala rich man ran away from good life. Isaac Pombaola, from street to riches. Story of the Kopala rich man should have been three three weeks ago when I received several notifications of people tagging me into the Kopala rich man post where he said he will buy my books at K200000 each. Into the Kopala rich man post where he said he will buy my books at K200000 each. Dot 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 by then I just used to see him on several media platforms making headlines. After quick research, I got all the data I needed, and I knew he was not a rich kid. But I accepted to go and meet him. Met him and his manager with a deep curiosity about his background. The man narrated how the boy a few years ago used to be in the streets, unkempt dressed in rags ever begging for coins and food staffs. Inspired by Grand P.S. Rise to Stardom, his manager approached Rogers Musanda's Kopala Richman family and learned that his dad passed away and the mother didn't have the capacity to groom him and hence used to stay at the grandmother's place. Both the grandmother and mother accepted the vision to build the Kopala rich man's brand, and that is how he was removed from the streets and permission to take care of him was granted. After several investments in him, the brand blew up and they had to relocate to Lusaka to push for more marketing deals. It became so real that only those who knew him from the streets could tell that he wasn't rich at all. Truth be told, his manager is a real branding genius because almost everyone thought this kid is rich even in real life. Everything has always been provided for him. The boy has many expensive suits, tailored for him. He is always moving in nice cars, met celebrities, politicians, and public figures he probably would have never met in his life. The manager gave him a free identity, and he was spending nights in a good house feasting on assorted foods Support of his own choice. Support and constant communication was ever ongoing to him and his family. The boy has never seen the walls of a classroom, and yet the qualified teacher to teach him was secured to be giving him private lessons. As the saying goes, you can take a person out of the street, but you can't take the street out of the person. He became so famous that he could not play and interact with others freely without attracting a crowd. He started missing his old life. On Sunday around 21 hours he left the house dressed in a short and managed to hide himself in a truck even without the driver's knowledge en route to Kitwe. Meanwhile his manager got so stressed thinking the boy is lost and kept on calling the grandmother if at all the boy went back home to no avail until people spotted him in Kitwe. This makes me wonder, should the boy be allowed back in the streets because that's inevitable once allowed to go his own ways? Or should they forge ahead and rebrand him into a better person? What do you all think of this Kopala rich man issue? Whatever the management shall do, may it be in the best interest of the boy in his future. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.